Have you tried high feed machining, but it's not really getting you the metal removal rate you'd hoped for? Or is your machine just not quite powerful to hit the numbers to make you money? Well, I'm here with David from ZCC Cutting Tools, who I think might have the solution for you. So David, what do we have on our table today? So we're showing today the EMP09 tangential mounted um, system from ZCC carrying the size 8 LNKT insert. Now, what makes these different to just a normal high feed cutter? Okay, so the uh, we've spoke on, on uh, f through MTD previously about our high feed system and the capabilities of this, of this tool, but not every machine or every environment as the capabilities to run the data that we would run on a on a, um, a standard I feed system, so we look to achieve our metal remo removal rates in a different way, and this is where this system is beneficial for the lower powered machines or for applications where I feed milling is not appropriate. We we achieve our metal removal in a different means. Now, just before we go really into it and what can be achieved. We have four different types of, of bodies using yeah. the same insert. So what's the difference between the bodies and why would you choose them? Yeah. So the, this, this is all about flexibility. Um, we, we always offer with our program a shell mill style, a shank tool, a screw on indexable head, and also a porcupine in our 90 degree approach cutter. So we have multiple different um, uh, systems. So for lo smaller diameters, we would use a shank tool. As the diameters get larger, then we move it onto a shell mill. Obviously, screw on is, is, um, is a, is a cost-effective way of, of using an indexable system, or we can use a, 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 an indexable cut or a, a solid carbide tool as well, so we're giving a, a multi-system multi uh, approach. So this, this is all about flexibility, giving the customer an option to, to, um, to use this system in any format that they need. And it must be really cost-effective to be able to use this, the same insert on a wide a range of holders. Yeah, exactly. You know, we are, you know, uh, having a um, one insert on on multiple systems is obviously beneficial for the cost of the uh, for the customer. But specifically, this um, this size eight um, insert, we've always had a, a strong portfolio of tangential inserts, twelve up to twenty five millimeters for big heavy machining. Um, we, we we we've seen uh, sort of benefits of reducing load. But now this is bringing this into an econom economical um, area where we're opening this technology up to, to smaller companies as well. Now, I just want to go over a couple of these. So I want to start with the shell mill first because I've actually used this. Okay, so yeah, yeah. I know what can, what can be achieved by using it. Yeah. So, but before we go into that, why did you take the decision to screw the inserts in from the side compared to... Yeah, as they are normally straight through the front of the tooth. Yeah. So with the with the inserts loaded around the periphery of the cutter, they, uh, rather than sort of forward facing, it naturally naturally reduces load. So this allows us then to to um, like like we mentioned, offer high metal removal rates. We can take in this sort of um, in this orientation, we can take the full height for the insert as a depth of cut, um, and and sort of re maintaining lower. Uh, load on the spindle than we would on a front facing insert. And something I, I, for the people at home I'd, I'd like to get across with this is, is I, I used this yeah. when I was a machinist before and the finishes yeah, you yeah. can get face milling yeah. is, well, I, I could get it like mirrors using this. So as well as the other applications it's great for, it's great just for finishing surfaces where you can actually take a grinding process out just by using this tool. Yeah, it's, you know, it's a versatile tool. So we, uh, we're using it for roughing, like say, high melt removal rates. And as you mentioned, finishing, the, the inserts are highly positive. There's, there's, uh, it doesn't create a lot of uh, friction on the, on the surface of the material. So that's how you manage to achieve your mirror finish with this tool. And then also, just one last thing on this. Like you were saying, because of this, because of the angle and how much insert you can use, yep. You can actually use this for finish profiling as well, yes, and you yeah. also get mirror finishes. Now, true ninety degrees and a, a positive orientation. So finishes are just well, really, I, you can't get better sometimes than using this type of tool. Yeah. Now, one tool I never got to use, and I am really upset about that. But porcupine. Yeah. 
why would you use a porcupine tool over an end mill? So traditionally, uh, you know, a porcupine cutter, a multi-loaded insert cutter like this would be used for roughing out, auging out material, uh, you know, uh, sort of using the full uh, eighth of the, of the insert, in this instance, is 22 millimetres um, for roughing as much material out as possible. But what we've sort of, um, sort, of, sort of implemented recently is using this technology in a different manner. So um, 3D milling or trochoidal milling, as you know, in, in solid carbide, we're now using this technology and this strategy for indexable milling as well. So um, again, if you've got a lower power machine and you, you know a traditional um, application for these cutters, it pulls a lot of load. Now we can give them a different mindset, a customer a different mindset with the, with the technologies available to remove the material as, as rapidly as possible. And something we spoke about before, which I think is, is absolutely great, is you find such great applications of this that you'll take 32 mil, yeah, 22 mil depth of cut yeah. at 20 percent engagement. Yeah, that's a lot of yeah. material removal very quickly. And and like you said, you can use this for um, 3D strategies as well yes. over over an end mill. Yeah. So it must be a, it must be more cost effective to use inserts than a full end mill. Exactly, yeah. So uh, we, we're trying to find cost effective solutions for the customer. Customers, uh, you know, they, they're forever asking for the, the, the material removal, getting the material off as quick as possible. And the new technologies on the market, you know, this this is not a, a new tool design, but we're using this, this type of tooling in a different environment to give the customers uh, what they need. And I think it's something people should really look into because you don't, you don't see a lot of people using tangential cutters and for some reason, sometimes you look at it and you think, I don't know why, because yeah. the cost saving, the amount of force you can put through them compared to other tools on the market, yeah. it, they can just be used on such a wide range of machines. Yeah. Then I think, I, I, think, I think, you know, from, from experience and from you know, feedback from customers, there's a bit of apprehension around tan, tangential mounted uh, cutters because historically they've been big you know metal removing 70 degree slab mills in 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 in, in, the, in sort of most instances um so there's a bit of sort of uh, you know an education piece needed to be up and you know these these do pull less less a load than a, than a, f a front loaded insert and i think i think there's a um a lot lot of sort of um i would say negativity but uh, awareness piece needed to be uh, to be had on the on this type of tooling so I think it all just comes down to education. Education, yeah. yeah. So if someone watching this thinks, God, I could really do with that sort of cutter, how can they get in contact with you to, to find out more about this? So first visit, visit our website, uh, www.zccct-europe.com. Contact uh, me or any of my team in the UK or one of our preferred distributors. So you could have cost savings if... If you're struggling to remove material, this could really be a solution that could help you save time and also make you more money.